hour by hour coming up in Florida's most accurate seven day. Wendy. All right, Jason, thanks. We'll check back with you. Another one gone. Despite special sessions and multiple reform bills, another property insurance carrier is leaving the Sunshine State. And this time it's a big name. Farmers Insurance Group says it's discontinuing farmers branded home, auto and umbrella policies right here in Florida. Capital reporter for Saunders joins us live from Tallahassee as yet another departure rocks the state. So for us this time, will there be any consequences due to this? Well, there's always going to be consequences. That's just the nature of this. We were turned on to all of this by the state CFO Jimmy Patronis on Monday with a tweet. He said there were rumors that farmers was leaving and that if it was true, the state would hold farmers accountable. Well, fast forward to Tuesday and we got confirmation that farmers is in fact departing and potentially impacting tens of thousands of Floridians. You've probably seen their ads. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. But now, Florida will see Farmers Insurance say goodbye. The company Monday informed state officials they're discontinuing farmers branded home, auto, and umbrella policies. While affiliates won't be impacted, the departure touches about 30% of farmers' Florida footprint. Sources estimate that's about 100,000 policies. Company officials said in a statement, quote, this business decision was necessary to effectively manage risk exposure. Risk like strong storms and a glut of litigation that experts say pushed Florida's property insurance premiums to among the highest in the country and forced at least three other companies to leave within a year. Listen, we're not out of the woods here. Former state Senator Jeff Brandis has pushed colleagues in the legislature to enact reforms for years. While lawmakers responded with special sessions, reinsurance programs and tort reform to curb the crisis, Brandis warns it's still going to take about another year for changes to have full effect. In the meantime, he's calling on peers to find out how to make the market more appealing. The, the state has very few tools in its toolbox here to keep companies in the state. What it needs to be doing is working with them and talking to them and having conversations with their CEOs and executives in order to tailor new legislation. Industry experts, meanwhile, note farmers is making changes across the country, capping policies in California recently due to wildfires. Insurance companies that do business here, it's not for the faint of heart. Lisa Miller, a former state official turned insurance advisor, says the state's market is moving in the right direction. She cites a new state report showing companies last quarter posted their first positive net income since 2016. We've been in the valley for quite a while, and I believe that our uh, current legislation, our regulatory scheme, will put us back on the mountaintop. Democrats, however, have been fuming on social media and blaming the GOP majority for not doing enough to address the problem. A Senate minority leader called farmers' departure, quote, irresponsible and dangerous, vowing to come up with, quote, solutions for everyday people. <laughs> State Senator Jason Pizzo, meanwhile, took a shot at the governor, saying, quote, while campaigning on woke, Florida's leadership has been asleep. OK, so what do state officials say about all of this? Well, up until just a few moments ago, we really hadn't heard anything from the governor's office or insurance regulators. That is, except for this new letter that we just got from the Office of Insurance Regulation. It came from the commissioner and was sent to Farmers Insurance. And I'm going to read a quick couple of quotes here. Uh, he said that he was disappointed by the hastiness of the carrier's departure from the Sunshine State, but also noted that, quote, as part of a broader series of actions, this is not focused, quote, solely on Florida.